Browning, as we talked about earlier, has thrown only six double play ground balls this year. Barry Bonds can fly also, so unless he hits it sharply to a middle infielder, you probably won't see a double play here. So this inning has the makings of something good for Pittsburgh. And slight single. So did Bonilla. First hit for each. And Bonds cracks it high in the air to right, and Van Swyke will tag at second. There's the catch, and the runner moves on to third base, and he's out! That's a double play, and the other man stayed at first, and that might have been a mistake. talked about a double play situation but who would have thought that this is how the double play occurred Paul O'Neill on a brilliant throw to third to nail Andy Van Slyke and you know why Bonilla stopped at third at first and didn't go because of the fake by Barry Larkin everybody did the right thing O'Neill hit the cutoff man Larkin in the right position quick tag by Sabo that really changed this inning and this is just a brilliantly executed double play in harmony with Barry Larkin the shortstop acting as the cutoff man the throw is low enough right there that Larkin could cut the ball that holds Bonilla at first and the throw carrying on to Sabo 